tonight we got a great program with Sarah Wall Beckman. If you remember, she's a past Miss International, she's a pageant coach, and she's an interview coach. And tonight, we had recorded a live session with Sarah, and she demanded one more time! And we gave it to her, and this is the interview that came out. This is the Encore live event with your good friend, Sarah Wall Beckman. That's tonight on the Pageant Cast. Welcome to the Pageant Cast, your home for beauty pageant news and interviews on the internet. Miss Wisconsin Teen USA 2015. And hi guys, I'm Ely Wandre, Miss Wisconsin USA 2015. You're watching Pageant Cast. Welcome. You're watching the Pageant Cast, and we're so glad that you could join us. My name is Tim Kretschman, and on the other side of the Skype line, we have Sarah Wall Beckman, interview and pageant coach. <laughs> Hello, most patient person I've ever met. How are you oh, doing? Oh. Hi, Tim. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me on again. I'm so yeah. glad we are nicknaming this one Sarah Wall Beckman Strikes Back, which is, is a little alarming because it's the sequel <laughs> to a uh, number of live shows we did, and you had so much information that you wanted to make sure our viewers got that you said, Let, let's do this. Let, let's do this. And as most people know, Empire Strikes Back is the best of the Star Wars movies. Now, let me see I, if I get a reaction on that. No? Okay. Well, we'll wait 30 seconds and see what it happens. It is the best. It also features Yoda, who yep. comes up with what I think is one of the best pieces of advice ever. Do you know Yoda's best piece of advice? When Luke no, is. But you say it in a backwards Here it comes. Form. Yeah, here it comes. You, you do okay. know that part about it, yes. Uh, Luke is trying to raise uh, the X Wing or something with his mind, which is impossible. And he says, That's impossible, Yoda. And Yoda says, You do or do not. There is no try. And that is really with the pageantry. If you're trying, you're not going to make it. You have to visualize that you're you're going to be the winner. Don't you agree? Right. I, I Yoda was possibly the best pageant coach that ever was. So he he winner after winner. <laughs> yeah, it, it, except for the thing is he really couldn't do it himself. Uh he always got kicked out right after swimsuit. Uh, it's something that I happen to know. Oh, uh, it's just him for yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know what it was, and he had that kind of weird walk, so that's, that was an issue as well. Of course, after embarrassing you last time with the idea of uh, Jaws as a platform, we're going to try to do better this time, and what we're going to be talking about today are some trends in pageantry. You spoke to a number of top industry professionals to make their predictions about where pageantry is going and you gave me a number of little cue cards here so you tell me what you want me to put up on the screen and we'll we'll go from there okay if it's okay with you i would mm -hmm. love to introduce this amazing panel that i have assembled okay uh, prior to this interview uh and i these are people that i have been so blessed to work with. And there's many people in the hair and makeup industry that I admire as well. But these three people, I have been so lucky to work with myself and they are just genius at what they do. And uh, so Tim, could I introduce them? Could you Absolutely. throw up one of the pictures? Okay, I'll, I'll them. put them up. Here is the first one. Okay, there is Christina who, and it's actually a Behind Christina is James, who gave me some excellent hair trend uh, information about what's coming in and what's going out in the world of hair for pageantry. Okay. And he is as fun as he looks in that picture. And he seems James a little is... wild. He seems a little wild, oh, I have to tell you. You laugh the entire time he is doing your hair. And I think there's a secret to that. James just makes you feel joyful and giddy before you go out on stage. So I think that's part of a secret. Well, and look at Christina's hair in this picture. It's incredible. Oh, yeah, it looks great. 
<laughs> and let's see our next one. And this is Brenda. Okay. Brenda Torre has, she worked on my hair back, you know, 10, 12 years ago now. And, uh, but she has become a huge deal. She was on staff at Miss Universe and has done hair for Miss Universe now. And she is a hair and makeup artist for the movies. She's been on multiple movie sets now. So Brenda knows what she's talking about. Fantastic. And we move to someone I know quite well. Yes, Clay Span. Clay Span is the most elegant Southern gentleman. And he just makes you feel so special. And he was the uh, headshot photographer uh, for the Miss International System, which was my title way back when. And he did my hair and makeup. Way back when? You way keep making then. this sound like this is ancient history. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. I look great for 62. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Clay is genius, and the pageant planet just recognized Clay as one of the top 10 makeup artists and top 10 photographers for 2016. So that's how good he is, too. Wow. So tell us, uh, is Sarah, we're going to be talking a little bit about hair and makeup. Which do you want to tackle first? Let's talk about hair. Let's talk about hair. Okay. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about hair. Okay. Well, I'm really excited about what I had started to see as trends. And then when I talked to these three professionals, they really, really reiterated the same information that hair is going in a much less sort of sculpted kind of way, a lot less of the ramen noodle curly curl ringlets. Uh, a lot less pageanty, and it's a lot more natural. So, Tim, do you have that picture of hairstyles that we're maybe we're moving away from? Just so I could kind of point some of these out. Here we go. This is what they were saying. James was saying less of the super long Victoria's Secret type model hair you see on the bottom. And okay. If anyone knows these three girls, these three girls look fantastic. They are gorgeous. I just have a feeling that these pictures are probably a couple years old that I found. Uh, so nothing against these three women. They look fantastic. But anyway, these are some of the older trends. So these super long, uh, what are those called? Extensions, like okay. down to the waist, mermaid-like extensions. And now hair is going to a more mid-length. Uh, you see in the top right uh just sort of that sculpted helmet hairspray kind of thing right. going on and then over to the other way my beautiful blonde up there with the really curly hair right. it's time that we just brush that out and give it kind of a more natural look uh tim i have a show and tell thing i know you love it when oh 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 here it comes there we go <laughs> show and tell show and tell Okay. Okay. Have, what have you got? I have a picture of She's so yours patient truly. with me. Ooh, <laughs> ooh. Look hair. at her. Woo. Okay. Check out that hair sprayed, sculpted. It's almost like a Lego helmet. Like you could just take it <laughs> off, switch it out for a different one. But anyway, so that that's the old okay this is the new All your right. hair tonight tim is perfect it looks so <laughs> soft and touchable and natural well that's that's because there's headphones over it that always helps <laughs> so this is where we're headed to so this is where we're headed and again brenda was saying just less hair just not you're not walking onto the stage and the first thing they notice is your huge long extensions uh again to the, the mid-length sleeker looks so this is a combination of pictures from the Oscars that just happened a couple of days ago and then also from Miss Universe. And these two events, I think, really trickle down into what we see on the state and local stage eventually in pageantry. So, so here it is, folks. Uh, you see Halle Berry up at the top with the very curly, natural hair. And I think that this, there is a huge trend of embracing your individuality. A couple of years ago, it's like everybody looked the same. 
You know, okay. everybody up on stage had the same length of hair. It was wavy. It was, you know, pageant hair. And now when you look at Miss USA or Miss Universe, some of my experts were saying each one had a different look. And that's what was so cool. The other things that I'm noticing in trends in hair are just the shorter length, like in the top. I'm not sure if it's right or left, but okay, there's the I'm, newly crowned I'm working on Mrs. This. Texas. I, I got an idea. We're going to see if this works. But okay. keep going. Keep going. Okay. And so I love the shorter hair. I think even short, short hair, I think, could make its way to winning a crown this year. And because it's different, because there's this huge trend of be you, do you now in pageantry, which I totally love because I have this huge passion for the pageant industry becoming less pageanty and more relevant to just cool women who are doing cool things, who are spokeswomen for what they believe in. And they also happen to have a pageant title that they are using to speak out about what they believe in. So anyway, so. Uh, you see Olivia, Miss Universe, who was just at the Oscars, this sleek, straight ponytail, straight hair, I think is going to be a new trend too, because it will be so different from the wavy we've been seeing for forever. Now, and you like here, I, I circled it. Did you see that? I circled Ooh, Olivia. There, there I like it. I'm not very like good at drawing, as you can tell. This will okay. be just like the NFL. We'll, we'll just uh, <laughs> do a whiteboard here. Oh, I wish I knew the names now. Like Brett Musburger, is that is he? Is he a <laughs> I have no yeah. idea anymore. I still think okay. Madden is doing it. You know. <laughs> okay, so Madden. So yeah. Madden, if you wouldn't mind circling one of the lower bottom right updos there for me, maybe put yeah. a heart well, or like a that? diamond. In yeah. Well, I was actually going the other way. We can talk okay. about her. Well, I'll talk okay, about so her because I circled her. <laughs> she was at Miss Universe. Look at that straight hair. It's so different. It's so fresh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I would like uh, another. Uh, I'll trapezoid. circle the one that you wanted here in the opposite corner. Yes. Thank you. Look at the updo. It's so sleek. This is not put your hair up and then a mess of ramen noodle curls on top, right? Right. This is so slicked back it's it's really saying that my face is the most important thing that you know about me uh, my personality and then miss universe above your last circled victim yeah. with the gorgeous just natural looking uh, mid-length hair yeah so i really i just think that this is so key and so exciting uh do your own thing do something fresh in pageantry uh, I love the trend it's going. Absolutely. It's very beautiful. And I like that they're starting to show some individuality. Because in pageantry, too often, there's the rules people, right? They're always telling you, these are the rules. This is how you're supposed to do things. And then they tell you, be yourself, but do it exactly this way. And uh, right. I'm I'm glad to see this this move in pageantry. I have to admit I haven't seen it at the local level a whole lot yet. It's no. uh, it's it's not happening there yet. Yes, I think at the state and at the national and international level, I think this is almost going to be required to do something that's kind of kapow, something that's okay. different from what we've seen before. And I think at the local level, people are so worried about just making sure they're doing it right, that they sort of stick to those tried and true looks. And I think eventually it will trickle down to the, the local level. But, okay. but for now, if you're going for a state title, if you're going for a national title, go kapow. Do something new and fresh. But make sure it's, it's so tough, isn't it? Because it still needs to be within the realm. But... Just hire a great coach who knows what they're doing. Hire uh, Brenda Clay or James. <laughs> Fantastic. Now tell us about uh, this hair right here. And <laughs> <laughs> you hate it when I draw on your face. I know that. So I'll just... No, I'm there, it's gone. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you also sent along a uh, picture from... One of the pageants, Miss Universe, I believe. Yeah. This one here. Okay, yes. here we have Miss Universe. This is, I think, the top ten, though I only see nine. 
I only uh, see nine too. Yeah, I, I don't know. What I I might yeah. have done something there, but uh, <laughs> actually, she's out to get a cheeseburger, and yeah, uh, <laughs> that's what I would do. Uh, so okay, what what are we supposed to be seeing from this photo? So I wonder, is there a way that we can zoom in on just that picture and not on me? We're working on because, it. So this this was just what a month ago, two months ago. This this is my proof that what I'm saying is true. Because look at how different each one of those ladies looks up on stage. Uh, you know, Dushana and the Miss Universe gal, they, they both have France. the gorgeous yeah. pageant waves, but it's still less forced, kind of less sculpted looking than right. it's been in the past. Right. And then look at Miss Haiti and, uh, oh, what was her name? Oh, with the gorgeous gold ruffle dress. Can you read that? Yes. Okay, let me look at that slicked back hair. And, and it, the other thing I'm noticing, too, is that there's like strong parts going on now. It's like a really clean part. It's just kind of this clean, sharp, natural look now. And I love it. I think it's so cool because that's a really simple updo to do as well. Right. Maybe I shouldn't say that. I actually, I don't know what I'm talking about with hair. So <laughs> I should say that. It looks, like, <laughs> it looks pretty simple. Right. Uh, so anyway, I, I just think it's, it's beautiful. It looks like the women are really coming through more now they're themselves well and and let's face it in 10 years this will be out of fashion and something else yeah. will be to look but this is kind of look that we're seeing uh winning and, and pageants mm -hmm. right now and it's foolish to to look the other direction because this is what's happening in high fashion this is what's happening everywhere yes and I love it because it's so much broader than it's ever been before. Mm -hmm. If you have African American heritage and you have the great big fro, do it. Like it's so exciting right now. Or if you have a short pixie cut, I love it. I think there's a huge opening for be who you are right now. And I believe you'll be rewarded for it too. Wow, fantastic. <laughs> So where can people find out more about this? Uh, should they be going to Clay? and? Uh... Absolutely. Clay's in Roanoke. Or I'm sorry, he's in Dothan, Alabama. Uh, Brenda is in the Minneapolis-St. Paul area of Minnesota, and I believe James is as well. Uh, so, And I've put up their contact information there so you can find them. They are so good. Fantastic. <laughs> Well, I'm sure they're going to they're going to get some uh, response based on this video. So that's fantastic, and it's, it's great that you you felt so passionate about this that you wanted to bring this to all of our viewers. And I really must thank you so much for uh, bringing this to us. Uh, it's so fun. I just I love this new trend. Thanks for the space to do it. Well, thank you for coming on, and uh, we're at that point in the show. And now she's like, oh, no, here it comes. Oh, yes, it's time for your best pageant wave. Oh. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right. Thank you so much. It's Sarah Wall Beckman. You can get a hold of her at her website, which is? SarahWallBeckman.com. That's right. And uh, check it out. A lot of great information there. Thanks again, Sarah, and to everybody watching live or watching this later on as an episode. Tierra Dreams, everybody. Tierra Dreams. <laughs>